Even after Susan's successes in the 1960s with Totem and Magic City, nothing had prepared Port Merion for what was to come in the 1970s. Susan had stumbled across a book in an antiquarian bookshop that she bought for 50 guineas. This book, The Universal Herbal by Thomas Green, was filled with botanical illustrations that really intrigued Susan. Her idea of a mix-and-match collection of tableware with different botanical motifs appearing within it, held together by the world-famous leaf border, was simply genius. Launched in 1972, its beauty and accessibility sparked a frenzy amongst modern families who wanted beautiful tableware that could be used every day. Now considered to be synonymous with great British design, it was Botanic Garden that set the trend for casual dining, and today Botanic Garden has seen no less than 70 different motifs, with many of the original motifs still in production today. So, the great adventure of shape, that's what Susan was all about, and in the 60s she developed this fabulous pattern called the, the Meridian Shape. That formed the basis in 1972 of the world famous drum shape in Botanic Garden. There's been millions of these cups and saucers made and sold around the world since 1972. Fantastic shape. Susan bettered herself, if that's possible, in 1982 with the romantic shape. And this is an iconic teapot. Everybody will recognize this teapot as a the Port Marion teapot. Brilliant. In 1995, we added to our botanic shape collections with the traditional shape. And we started with the teacup and saucer, which is here, it's looking fabulous. And um, more recently, we've just done a teapot pot cream and sugar set. Shape has always been important to Port Marion. It was to Susan, it is to us, um, it's what we're famous for and we pride ourselves in always doing the best possible shapes that are practical, sturdy, uh, functional yet beautiful. So this is one of the books that inspired Susan in the early 70s and it's called The Moral of Flowers. This is the daisy motif which is still in Botanic Garden today. We painstakingly recreated the motifs from the original books and there are currently at least 36 different flowers across the Botanic Garden collection in the market today. So most companies will have an evolution of back stamps, it's just a natural thing. In Botanic Garden in 1972 this is the first back stamp so a lot of the collectors will be familiar with this. Some years after that that particular decorative motif changed, so we have the addition of the, the motif around the base. And then more recently, we have the Port Marion logo, which became uh, the back stamp across all the patterns, as you can see there. But back stamps are an evolution. They're always being changed, they get tweaked. Every company has a different one. That's why the collectors like uh, look out for and, and, and get sometimes precious over back stamps. Um, and great news, in 2010, we've now got a new Botanic Garden back stamp. So look out for that one. <laughs>